Hey, it's Lee Halliday, and today we are going to be using Framer Motion to animate these tiles, but we're going to stagger the animation so that they sort of fade in and fade and slide down in one after another. So here's what we're working with here, this React component where we've got a few articles, six of them here that are showing up on the left, and we're just mapping over them and outputting them as a div. So that's what they show up as, and if we want to animate them, we want to convert this div into one we can control with Framer Motion. So all we do is we import motion from Framer Motion, and then we change this div to motion.div. Now this is a div we can animate. And we're going to be working with two props. We're going to be setting the initial properties and then where we want to animate them to. So why don't we just start by fading them in so we can say initial opacity is zero and eventually we want an opacity of one. So I refresh this and they sort of fade in really quickly. So if we want a bit more control over how long that animation takes, for example, we can set the transition. So we can say here we want a duration of half a second. So refresh. Now they take a little bit longer. We could up that to 1.5 and now they'll fade in pretty slowly. So that's how you change how long that animation should take. But we want to do more than just fade them in. We wanted them to slide in as well. So for that we can set the translate X and let's say we started off 50 pixels to the left, so negative 50, and we want to get them to, to 0, to where they should be. So we can say translate X 0. So now they're all sort of fading in and sliding from the left, just like that. And if we wanted to come down sort of from an angle to the left, we could do the translate Y as well. We'll set that to minus 50 and translate Y should end up at zero. So now they're sliding down from the top, but I wanted to stagger them. That was sort of the whole point of using Framer Motion because up until this point, we could we could just do this with CSS animations for the most part because there's nothing sort of special happening. We're just sort of changing a property, having it fade in. But we want to stagger them. So we're going to be using um, this articles that we're mapping and it gives us an I. So which is it? Is it the zeroth or the first one? One, two, three, four. And we'll basically use this number to set the delay of each of these that we're showing. So we can say here, and we're going to set the delay to be equal to I times, let's say we want to delay them just a little bit. So 0 0.1 seconds, so 100 milliseconds. So now you can see that they're not all doing it once, but they sort of all come in. So if you set it to the same value as your duration, you'll sort of have one finish, then the other one begin, like that. Or if you set it to like, oops, that's not a number, like that, they'll come in really quickly, sort of a little bit staggered, but almost all at the same time. And obviously you could then do like a 0 0.5 so that finish, and they come in really slowly. So that's how you can use the I, the second um, argument or param you're receiving when you're mapping, which number it is in the array to change the delay and have it show up like that. So why don't we stick with uh, 0.2, just like that. And you could al also play sort of where they're coming from using this I as well. And let's say we want even ones to come in from the top left, odd ones to come in from the the top right. It may end up looking ugly, but let's give it a go anyways. And what we're going to do is we're going to say um, I modulus 2. So if that is equal to 0, it will be minus 50. Otherwise, it will be plus 50. So we can sort of play with this I to and modulus to get them to come in. So now they're like sliding in like that. So anyways, that's all I wanted to cover today. How can you really easily use Framer Motion 
to stagger your animation in using the second param that you're receiving as you're mapping over or iterating over um, a collection like an array or something like that. So we can say, where is it going to start initially? Where do we want it to animate to? And how do we control that transition by setting the duration and the delay? And the delay is where you really get control over staggering them in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye.